Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video in our game animation sample project. Let's just jump into it. We are working on our NPC behavior. In the last video we set up an alternative way for our NPC to sh find us without using traces and it's, it's looking pretty good. So it will keep working on it. I think it's time for us to add, because the NPC can attack us, but we have no weapons. So let's uh, go to the NPC components and fix so we actually have a weapon. And Let's add it to the details. We're gonna add a static mesh soft class reference. Not class reference, not object reference. Because we don't want to load it into memory. Because if we did that, then the data table would have all of the meshes in memory at all times. So soft reference, weapon mesh, actually let's do main and because we might want to add other meshes like a shield or whatever later. Can I do a name, main and socket name. So now in our NPC components, let's keep this like this for now. Uh, is this authority set up MC details? That's not replicated. So here we have authority, right? Okay. So get NPC details. And the main hand mesh. And the thing is, we can't really do anything with this now, so we need to load it into memory, but let's create a separate function for that. So let's make a custom event load weapon meshes set up weapons let's do that so from this soft reference here we need to do async load class asset actually i am it doesn't need to be a class asset because it's just a static mesh, it's not an actor. So we can do soft object reference actually. Like so. So get NPC details. Async load asset. Uncompleted, not from this one. We will. Cast to static mesh. Once again, casting is fine because it's a base class and it's all our static meshes are already gonna be loaded into memory. That is fine. So once this is completed, we want to get owner. As I said, we want to set up as little stuff as possible beforehand. We want the component to handle most of it, or as much as possible. So, you could add like a static mesh component here. 
uh, but we want to, as I said, we want we want the component to handle most of it. So we're just going to get owner. We're going to add component by class static mesh components. Gonna gonna get get donor we're gonna cast to character once again casting to character is fine it's only happening on begin play and on the server and not really character is already loaded into memory so it's not not expensive at all in that case and it's a base class um, so get mesh I wonder let's just get the mesh out this to a variable main and mesh components gonna attach attach component to components actually we don't need to do that here can actually make another variable here this will be main hand mesh so this is the component set to replicated this is created on the server attached on the server so it needs to be replicated and then this main hand mesh here this is what we're gonna use as the reference for the actual main hand mesh and this one will be of the type with notifier after this so now we can use this rip notify function to replicate the permanent changes which is the attachment of stuff I'm just that might be enough to just do on the server to be honest but I am not entirely sure um, let's try to just do it on the server and see if it works just gonna connect this for now we have this equip sword so for now I am just going to do equip sword I'm just gonna set this static mesh here to the sword Actually, that is not correct. It's this one. Get main hand mesh components. Let's 
set static mesh. I'm fairly sure this needs to be inside of the actual rep notifier. Just want to see, just want to make sure. So we're setting the variable to the sword. We're setting the component to be of that static mesh. And then we're going to take this component and attach it to the equip sword location with snap to target, snap to target, keep worth. I just want to see. I don't think that's going to work. Well. No. Uh, and of course it's not going to work because... This is not gonna succeed because there was no static me mesh in here. So we need to open our data table. We do sword. And what was it called? Equip sword. So that should not be fine. It's not. Uh, let's see if this triggers. It does trigger. Okay, it doesn't work if I play as a server, is the question. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, so it needs to be inside of the earth notifier, then it's a replication issue. So, all of this is going to be inside of here. So we're going to set the static, so uh, this function here, we're setting the main hand mesh. So we can reference the main hand mesh here to get the static mesh and set the static mesh component to the static mesh. So that's fine. We can cast a character, we can attach this. We can just get the get NPC details, break, then we can do the socket name because we set that up as well. And then we need to get here. Set collision enable to no collision to replicate that as well. So now that should all be replicating. It's flying because of the collision, I assume. So. Enabled. What is happening? Why are we flying? Okay, let me pause for a little bit. I'm just gonna see what I can do about this. All right, I'm back. That was an incredibly silly mistake. It was the other way around, I had it like this. So I was trying to set the weapon as the parent, but it's the mesh obviously that should be the parent, so it should be the other way around. Like so. Perfect. And that means we can get NPC details. Break. Plug in the name from the data table as well. And we can now see that the MC has a sword that he is trying to attack us with. And all is fine and dandy. Except 
that. Yeah, we should disable that at some point. All right, short video. That's gonna be it for this one. I will see you in the next one, where we will probably add the actual traces to the emphasis as well. And yeah, take it from there. See ya.